Today, I learned, until 2007, Russian astronauts were issued a sawed-off shotgun and machete to fight off Siberian bears and other wildlife upon landing back on Earth. They are now issued a semi-automatic pistol. My face when I'm just out here foraging for berries when a capsule crashes to the ground from the heavens and a cosmonaut comes out and points a gun at me. <laughs> it's not even cringe. It's just personal and unpolished and you've been taught to flinch away from vulnerability which doesn't mock itself. You stick your fingers in my cage. My pitch black cage. You feel something cold and wet. You retract your fingers, and to your horror, you realize... I painted your nails. I hope you like them. Hey, wait. Handle a Vader artifact. I can be trusted with godlike power, I swear. I, I, I can handle it. Divine madness. My first order of decree. Everyone becomes a cute lucky elf and they will like it. Hey, how many eggs do you have in your fridge? This is exactly what I'm complaining about. So many people act like it's my job to do research for them when these questions are easily Googleable. Google how many eggs are in my fridge. To count the number of eggs in your fridge, you can physically count them. I, I was going to edit this Google results page to say something funny, but honestly, I don't think I can outdo what I actually got. I can't believe I can't even tell people to Google it anymore. It used to be my thing, man. Social media is wild. I followed Santa Claus on Blue Sky, and he followed me back. Santa Claus is not a gimmick account, but the account and legal name of the current deputy mayor of North Pole, Alaska. And now he can see every time I repost, Invader Zingyowie. My Ratatouille rat is making me fight someone else who is also controlled by a Ratatouille rat. Me and the other guy have no beef, only the rats are enemies, and we have no idea why. While punching with limbs no longer alone, we lock eyes with mutual grief and compassion, forgiving whoever kills the other. What the fuck is Yu-Gi-Oh even about? You know, normal stuff like ghosts, murder, reincarnation, dragons and wizards, friendship, sending people to psych words, children cards games, you know, the usual. You know, if you close your eyes and believe hard enough, this is also JoJo Stardust Crusaders. They want you to make fried rice. Who is they? The walk left. How am I supposed to make fried rice if the walk left? Hmm, skillet tissue. Even if this was a dream, he still couldn't drag his feet and pussy around like this. He had to be decisive if he- Preach, I guess. Took me three rereads to realize that drag his feet and pussy around are two different phrases. Oh, I have misunderstood. Wait, hold on. <clears throat> He still couldn't drag his feet and pussy around. <laughs> Shit. No. <laughs> no. I don't fear you or your polycule. Me before I get killed by the mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, these are on fire today. Oh no, my wonder is not childlike. My whimsy is old. My frivility is steeped in ancient wisdom. My stillness is battle-worn. My awe of the world has been long forged through trial and tribulation. I have earned this wonderment. I have protected it for decades against a society that tells me constantly that it should not belong to me. I was born with wonder, and I have carried it against all odds with me through adulthood. It is not childlike by now. It is older than me. Tell me you main cleric without saying you main cleric. <sighs> Twenty twenty four is a table year to be a henchman. Word minion is barely usable, and you can't even say goon anymore. Those fucking dragoons from FF fourteen took it away from us. Oh wait, just saw someone say they were hyper fixated on cooking with seasonal squash. I love that nothing means anything. I'm seriously trauma dumping pepper all over these boiled eggs. Yo, I'm gaslighting my stove. Yo, I'm seriously girl maxing this omelet right now. One of the most challenging skills I've had to learn as an adult is the art of figuring out whether I'm proportionally annoyed with someone or just tired and overstimulated and looking for reasons to be pissed off. Congratulations to the only post I've ever had breach 100k notes without any real discourse or fighting. Just a lot of people wearily going, oh god, same.
The real challenge of adulthood that no one tells you about in advance is how many goddamn pieces of paper you have to keep up with that are never important until they are suddenly very important. Adulthood is a video game with no tutorial level. They just throw you in and be like, figure it out, bitch, bye! The sweetest, daintiest boy detective in all of Los Angeles, Willie Gore Explosion, has died of rickets after thinking about clues too hard. <gasps> Say it isn't so. How do they choose which sand to be the glass and which sand to be the sand in an hourglass? Imagine you and your best friend were two grains of sand and you had to be in the hourglass, and your bestie had to be the glass. You're together, but you've never been more apart. A sick and twisted practice, hourglassery is. How high do you have to be to think of this? This was me off one chocolate croissant. Shit, that must have been a really good croissant. I hate when people say shit like, but your antidepressants alter your brain function unnaturally, read up on it. Like, yeah, you're right. They force it to produce serotonin so I can function. Similar to how I take thyroxine because my thyroid doesn't fucking make the right shit. Similar to how people with diabetes take insulin. Similar to how people with low iron take iron supplements, you thin slice of nut loaf. Do you yell at people for eating food because their body just doesn't naturally photosynthesize energy on its own? Never. Not. Reblog. Yo, on point. I contain the uwu. What if Uwu breached containment? Casualty in the millions. Get them graves ready then, Uwu. I have a nine. What have you done? Middle-aged man, save me. Save me, evil middle-aged man. Call that a discomfort character. If you're weird enough with the homies, you can break all boundaries of platonic romantic love and make a third, more evil thing. A podcast. No, wait. Better. A D&D &D group. Don't think of it as a bad movie adaptation. Think of it as a 90 minute long commercial for a very good book. Space Jam 1996. Hold up, what? Hop in, loser. We're gonna see what heaven tastes like. I bet it's marshmallows and raspberries. Shipping a man in a cannon hat relationship with another man, but I'm shaking my head the whole time, so you know it's not out of the misogynistic disregard for the woman character. Hey, I have a suggestion. Let's hear out, Tumblr user. I suggest polyamory. I bet their suggestion is pretty good. Enemies to lovers, but it's Nintendo and Sega. Mm-mm-mm. Another individual that has not been exposed to Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Seymour, why did you bring up Blythe in one of your recent videos? Now the blueberry whale is coming! And they're changing directions to you because you can't even spell his name right. Have fun with that shit. It's a common misconception that vampirism automatically leads to bisexuality, but shocking new information from the World Health Organization says that, through sheer coincidence, everyone who's ever been turned into a vampire was already bisexual. Scientists and statisticians all over the globe are working hard to understand this absolute statistical clusterfuck. Mode 11. Not a coincidence. Queer folks adopt other queer folks all the time, and vampires have a long time to get good at gaydar. If I was a vampire, I would definitely turn all of my queer friend group. I think the simpler conclusion is that most queer people and their queer friends just like to bite each other, so, you know, <laughs> shit happens. Gets home, breaks knuckles. Time to shit myself to sleep again, boys. Wait, no, it's crack knuckles. Wait, no, it's cry myself to sleep. Tell block this, stop it! <laughs>